Okay, how to remove a sharp microwave oven. I thought it was just going to be a real easy thing, but it took a little thinking to figure out what's going on. First of all, I took my little filter screens out, and I saw these big old long screws. I thought, oh, that's it. Take these things out. Well, you can see how long they are. Great big screens. And I guess in some applications, that's, that's what holds it. But uh, in this one, I took the screws out. And it's still tight. It ain't coming down at all. So I had to come up here and do some looking. Took the cover off. It turns out it's anchored behind this behind this trim piece. So this is in a Winnebago. So they've done it a little bit differently. But I had to pry this piece of trim out. And uh, I tend to tip that out there. Okay, now you see it tip top. There's some screws all the way across here. I'll have to take those out now. And so, at least with this one, that's how it's going to come out, I believe. And supposedly it's got a hinge on the back. So once I take those screws loose, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, stage two. Put some billows down here. Got those screws out and it did tilt forward. But I'm still hanging on to something in the back here. Got a little issue. So I'm going to take it back up, put a couple of screws in it, and take some screws up from the bottom. See if I can just get this thing to let go. And we'll get it figured out. So that's the next step. Voila, peanut butter. We got it down. So what I had to do on the very back side, there was three screws I had to take out. There's from the bottom. Got those three out. And then I was able to drop it down. Of course, be sure to have you some pillows or something because it's quite heavy. And it's better to have a helper. I did it by myself. Wasn't the easiest thing. And the whole reason why I took this thing down is I noticed since we, ever since we had the RV, when we turn on the the vent, it always blew air straight at us. It didn't blow air outside, even though you look right here in that little hole, and you kind of see some light. That's the flat flapper vent on the side of the RV. And when we turned the vent on, it never blew air out that vent. It always blew it right back inside the RV. So I knew, well, something's not right. Why would they put the vent there if it's not being used? So for the investigation, I've seen the way they've installed this. It looks like there's some, it's, it's, it's all blocked, these plastic pieces. So I'm going to take this apart and see if that won't get it fixed to where it'll blow outside, I guess, from the factory. They got in a hurry that day and didn't hook it up right. So that's the next step. Let's see if we can figure it out. Okay, we got it figured out. All right, so from the factory, they had the blower motor installed this direction. It was blowing air to the front. Well, I want to blow outside to the vent. It suck all the moisture out of the RV. So to remedy this, it's pretty easy. Just pull it out, rotate it, and stick it in here this way. And now it will blow the air out the back. So. Try to get this thing back together. Okay, it's another day, and I'm fixing to put this bow back together. As before, when I started, my microwave was blowing the air out front instead of blowing it out the side of the RV. There's my vent right there. That's where it's supposed to be. It was supposed to be blowing the air out, but from the factory, they installed the little squirrel cage blower in backward, so it was shooting it out the front. So I took it out, rotated it, put it in the right way. Of course, then it left me some holes here, so I had to tape those up so it wouldn't be sucking the air from the from the top of the art uh, of the microwave. It'd be sucking it from the from the front where it's supposed to, and not the ductwork. And then, to give you an idea of how this thing mounts, you can see here these big, low, long screws right there. This thing over a foot long. Loosen that up. Okay, and then this whole plate lifts, lifts off. Just, oh, just by those, two, you got two of them. One here, and one there. Now, for some reason, this is not, I don't know who did this in the past, but when I was taking this apart, I noticed I had to remove three screws to get it down. But those are not factory holes, not factory, that's, that, those shouldn't have been there. So somebody in the past, I don't understand why, but they've put those screws in there 
maybe they could well when I took this apart to begin with these were not screwed in and anchored for whatever reason they were just loose like this so maybe whoever worked on it before realized that was a problem and they put these screws in just to keep it from falling out but I'm fixing to put this plate back on this here and Winnebago did a good job this is really made out of some good, good strong steel to hold that but just so you know how this kind of works if I can do this one handed not tear up something so this gets mounted back in here so once it gets mounted it leaves you a lip here across the bottom so that's how you take the microwave and tilt it up hang it on that lip and then bring it forward and get those two big long screws anchored in and hopefully everything will be back to where it's supposed to be and the air will be now blow out the side of the RV instead of blow back in my face so let's see how that works okay so we tried again tried putting it in there and I realized part of my problem the reason why those big long screws weren't used well with a little effort I was able to get this one to, to hook and to catch but I never could get the screw on the right hand side to catch and hold so I took it back down to see what the problem was and I figured out what it is once again from the factory they've installed the back panel a little bit crooked there's a quarter inch difference from this side to this side so what's happening because this being a quarter inch higher when I put the microwave in here you know you can sit it on this back lip and then tilt it up the microwave is hitting the roof before it can the bolt can reach its anchor point so I got 411 screws to take out and I will drop this one side down a quarter inch get everything nice and level and redrill me some new holes put new put the screws back in there and then hopefully it will work like it's supposed to be so anyway that's the next step see if we can't work it okay I've had success got all the bolts to work and line up but I was going to show you this little tip when you put putting these things on make sure this little screw here is in this position don't let it be like out and down like that because you'll never get lined up and get where you need to be so before you tilt it back up get it back in there make sure that that screw is something like, like that let me see here and not out and down all right same for the other side and that way you'll line up to these little dudes and get her all tightened up have in good shape so a few more minutes and it should be done okay final product all back in finished and so now when i turn on the fan it blows it out the front no, I mean it blows it out the back, not out the front like it used to. I didn't like that. So. Alright. Done deal.